to Moments with Friendship Baptist Church, Gillen, Alabama. May God bless you with this devotional from Oswald Chambers, my utmost for his highest. Let's begin with prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we ask you to give us knowledge and understanding as we listen to this lesson before us today on the subject of the believer's role as the temple of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Oswald uses Pharaoh's declaration of Joseph's position in Egypt as his scripture reference for this devotional. It is from Genesis chapter 41, verse 40. Only in the throne will I be greater than you. The devotional date is December 5th, and the title is The Temple of the Holy Spirit. Oswald says, I have to account to God for the way in which I rule my body under his domination. Paul said he did not frustrate the grace of God, that is, make it of no effect. The grace of God is absolute. The salvation of Jesus is perfect. It is done forever. I am not being saved. I am saved. Salvation is as eternal as God's throne. The thing for me to do is to work out what God works in. Paul said, work out your own salvation. I am responsible for doing it. It means that I have to manifest in this body the life of the Lord Jesus, not mystically, but really and emphatically. I keep under my body and I bring it into subjection. Every saint can have his body under absolute control for God. God has made us to have government over the temple of the Holy Spirit over imaginations and affections. Most of us are much sterner with others than we are in regard to ourselves. We make excuses for things in ourselves while we condemn in others things which are not naturally inclined. I beseech you, says Paul, Present your bodies a living sacrifice. The point to decide is this. Do I agree with my Lord and Master that my body shall be his temple? If so, then for me, the whole of the law for the body is summed up in this revelation, that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, may we believers manifest your Holy Spirit daily in our lives by bearing much fruit, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, and self-control. For in doing so, we represent you as you truly are. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen.